Okay guys, so today we're gonna be a big on we're gonna do a big unboxing. I found this box full of uh, model train stuff. So I'm gonna open it all up, but I just checked my channel this morning and I realized that we hit our goal of five subscribers. I am so thankful for you guys all subscribing and liking all my videos and supporting me. The channel's been doing really well recently, and thank you guys for all the support. Our next goal is 10 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I would be so appreciative if we hit 10 subscribers. But as it is, I'm so glad we hit 5. Thank every single one of you guys for subscribing. Thanks for all my friends being there and all my supporters being there and the people who watch my videos. Today this is a very special video because we have a lot of stuff. So I'm going to open this up here. So there's a sneak peek. I'll get to see everything in there yet. So we're going to do a step by step. Okay. Um, I'm going to open the box off camera. Okay. Wow. We have a lot of stuff in here. So I picked this up from Value Village actually. This box was all from Value Village, so I have all this Value Village stuff. So we're going to start out with this. Now, as you can see, I actually have one of these. This is a Bachman Pacific Flyer. Bachman Pacific Flyer with his tender, but as you can see, it's kind of rough. I don't know if you can see that little clip piece. It's broken, and this one's broken too. It's missing the front. Front buffers. It's in the front buffers. So it's kind of hard to see. But we have the Union Pacific. And then oh, we have a really nice engine in here. But this one, sadly, this one, a CN Loco. CN Diesel. But um, you can see this one is actually a dummy. <laughs> Has no motor. I mean, it's still actually like, oh, this light will come on, but aside from that, it's a dummy loco. Um, let's see. I have another loco. This one actually did run, but I didn't know what happened to it. It's a Santa Fe. I don't know if I burnt out the motor. I might have burnt out the motor by accident. But this is a uh, Santa Fe diesel. The company. I can't find the company who makes this. It might be like Lifelike Trains or just a knockoff company. Now, we have something really interesting. Okay. Let's get that off there. Okay, unhook the controller. So, a bunch of Walkman easy track. A ton, a ton, a ton. An easy track and whatever this thing is, I have no clue what that thing is. And that's part of a Bachman easy track. Bachman easy track. So we got a load of Bachman easy track, which is really nice. Along with that, we have this Bachman plug in wall cable. This one is from the 90s, because look at, I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s, because look at how chunky that is. My new Bachman easy track controller doesn't have that. So, track wire. I actually tested all this track, it all works. I mean, most of it, some of the connectors, like this one right here is a tiny bit rough. Tiny bit. There's some in here that are rough that I need. I like this is not my permanent track because I use more meat. So here's the Bachman controller. It's definitely older because you can see most new Bachman controllers don't have that. And you can see by the color contrast on it. So that was really uh, cool to find. I found this whole box for $19. So now we're going to get on to most of the rolling stock stuff. And um, yeah. So this one is actually really cool. It's this ACL Sealand car. The only problem I had with this was mine were Bachman knuckle couplers, so my Pacific was Bachman knuckle couplers. But I eventually realized that there's a way that you can position them where it'll couple up to knuckle couplers. So we have that Sealand Pennsylvania car, which I really, really like. 
Um, yeah, Max, this, I really like it too. This, it looks like an older car, Peabody Short Line. It's all intact, got all its bogey wheels and all its couplers. That Peabody Short Line. We got the whole set of Bachman, actually. So the whole Bachman Pacific Flyer set. So that was the Bachman Pacific Flyer, the engine over here. Then we have the uh, C and M, uh, I mean IM car. Still good. Missing one of its uh, bogey wheels right here. So good. Opening doors. Knuckle couplers. It's a nice little extra to have. Now this is kind of custom. This right here, this Union Pacific car. Because when I got it, it was a flatbed. But this Union Pacific car shell came in there. And I'm just like, oh, I really like the Union Pacific sh uh, boxcar shell. So I put it on the flatbed. Um, next up, we have Pacific Fruit Express. So you can see it has a Union Pacific stamp on it. Some Union Pacific rolling stock. So we got a bunch of rolling stock here. Um, these are personally, I really like these. So two of these, um, one is Canadian National and one Chicago Northwestern. So we got those, and then here, I just have this extra like rusted kind of flatbed. It's more of like a scrap sort of looking thing. So if you have a scrap yard display, um, just ask me about it in the comments. And if you need it, I'll give it to you, I guess. Um, maybe I'll give it to you because I don't know how I do that. But this Western DF uh, shell. This I'm pretty sure is this pretty sure it's part of it, so have to figure that out later. I just realized that. Okay, this is nice. So we have the CN uh, knuckle coupler missing one of its bogey wheels. CN knuckle coupler goes with the other Bachman uh, Pacific Plaza. We have this New York Central system. Oh, wrong side. I don't know if you can see that little logo right there. New York Central System, not a uh, Bachman knuckle coupler. Still very cool. Still very cool with that. We're coming to our last little bit of rolling stock here. I really appreciate the five subscribers, guys. I didn't think I would hit this, but because of you guys, I did. And thank you for all the subscribers. I'm really trying to get this channel more popular so more people know it. So, I'm tearing up right now because of you guys. Thank you so much. We have this um, shell fuel tanker. It's kind of rough. Like up here, it's broken. The lining is messed up. Because these these tankers, you got to be careful with them. And you got to be so fragile because the lining gets messed up so easily. So next up, this one is a extra caboose that I use. So this Canadian Pacific right here. And at the end, I want to showcase something to you guys. My friend, uh, Sebi's Trains, actually gave it to me. Really, really cool. Um, this is a CN, like, caboose, but it's all rough. Um, this probably was from a hobby shop, because you see that. That probably was a price. Nobody would have bought this, though. It's missing both of its couplers. It's got its bogey wheels, so... Bogey wheel replacement, this is always good extra, like, junk rolling stock. Yet again, scrap and stuff. Now here, I really like this. This is a Conorail hopper. Conorail hopper. It uh, doesn't have the knuckle couplers from Bachman, like the easy knuckle couplers, I should say. Conorail. Um, and last but not least, oh box closed. We have, this just came out. So this flatbed, well, one of my friends put this Dairyman Eagles, my friends which is um, Lords the Roblox Gamer. Dairyman's Eagles. It only has one coupler so I don't really use it a lot. And let's see if we have any like leftover. We just have rubber bands, bogey wheels, 
crap in there. Um, so if you want to know how much I picked this up for, I'm going to have Value Village. Um, and I paid $19.99, so 20 bucks plus tax. And uh, I think all this stuff was worth it. Um, but keep an eye out soon, because eventually I might set up my Hornby track and run this. I have a Hornby layout that's due, so I'm going to be making that soon. I really appreciate the five subscribers, guys. I mean, I it's just it just blows me away. I can't believe it. That next thing it'll be 10, 20, 30. So I really appreciate this, guys. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe and watch all my other videos. Let me know what you want, too. I could do crash videos or all that sorts of stuff. Just let me know in the comments. Bye.